It's the Ask Girl, Let's Go Show. KJ's in the house. What's up, KJ? What's up? What's up is Taylor Swift. After a long career of hard work and dedication, Taylor Swift is finally a Super Bowl champion. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, some people may say, why, why are you saying she's a Super Bowl champion? She didn't win the Super Bowl. Well, if Taylor Swift didn't win the Super Bowl championship, then why in the world did the NFL drop a Taylor Swift Super Bowl highlight tape, KJ. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the best of Taylor Swift at Super Bowl 58, the Taylor Swift highlight tape just dropped on the NFL's official YouTube channel. That's right, KJ. So don't tell me that Taylor Swift did not win the Super Bowl. They got, <laughs> <laughs> they got all her highlights. Her celebrating every touchdown, you know what I'm saying? Her and Ice Spice going crazy. How about Ice Spice, dude? Oh, my gosh. She looked <laughs> lost. <laughs> Ice Spice had never seen a football game before yes, in her life. <laughs> Ice Spice looked like she didn't know what was going on yeah, at yeah, all. What else, what else cracked me up is uh, Travis Kelsey's brother, Jason Kelsey, when they got introduced. Yeah. And uh, you can uh, tell Jason Kelsey said, excuse me, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yes, uh, Taylor Swift is a Super Bowl champion. The NFL dropped her highlight tape on their YouTube channel. You want to know how many views it got? Over a million already. Okay, wow. over a million views. The Taylor Swift highlight tape uh, has right now. The Taylor Swift Super Bowl highlight tape has over a million views and counting. So for all those people that complained about why they kept showing Taylor Swift, the NFL knows where the money's at, okay? Exactly. The NFL, <laughs> the NFL knows where the money's at. And a lot of people like seeing Taylor Swift. That's why her highlight tape has over a million views already. <laughs> And it was destined to be uh, this NFL championship for the Chiefs and Taylor Swift. Because look at the look at the numbers. You know, Taylor Swift, her lucky number is 13, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it was Super Bowl 58. 5 plus 8 is 13. The game took place on February 11th. 2 plus 11, 13. They took on the 49ers. 4 plus 9 is 13, KJ. <laughs> the halftime score was 10 to 3. Which equals 13, KJ. Oh, my God. <laughs> the Chiefs in 2023 with Travis Kelsey won 13 games. And how many plays on that game-winning drive, KJ? Can you take a wild guess? 13. 13. <laughs> so it was, it was meant to be. The Chiefs and Taylor Swift won the Super Bowl, dude. And I'll tell you what, uh, Taylor Swift was partying like she won the Super Bowl. She I'll definitely was. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. Tons of uh, video out there of her and Travis Kelsey at the after party in Vegas. Uh, you know, they're just throwing down, having a good time. Uh, they sang You Belong With Me at, at a Super Bowl party. Chain smokers were DJing. Yeah, so there's a bunch of highlights of them celebrating their big victory. So congratulations uh, to Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey and the Chiefs. And thank God for Patrick Mahomes for winning me a bunch of money. <laughs> <laughs> but that wasn't the only highlight of the Super Bowl. Oh, no. Let's talk about that halftime show by Usher, KJ. What was your favorite part? Oh, uh, man. I loved when he performed uh, You Don't Have to Call and Love in His Club. Uh, and then, of course, my boo and, and bad girl. Like, I was not ready for her to come out. Oh, my. Yo. Yo. Her snapped on that she guitar, dude. She did. That was incredible. She went off on that guitar. Uh, how'd you feel about Usher and uh, Alicia Keys getting booed up for uh, real? Oh, my God. <laughs> Typical Usher. <laughs> <laughs> they, it was cute, though. It was cute, but I was like, man, yeah. that, that's a little close. They, they sold it. They <laughs> sold it. You know, um, a lot of people are trying to rank it. You know, where does it go? I would say, like, it definitely started off a little slow. I would think, like, that, that headset mic. You know, I, I just couldn't, it, the sound wasn't right early on, and I was worried about Usher dancing on that grass. I was like, dude, he's about to blow an ACL. <laughs> but he made it work. But once he got to the stage and got the mic in his hand, it was on. Yeah. And, and the freaking roller skates, bro. Oh, my God. I don't God. think people understand how hard it is to pull that off. To have an outfit change, to get on roller skates and not miss a beat. Like, mm -hmm. that that roller skating part was unbelievable. That blew my mind. And yeah. then, dude, when Lil John came out, bro, like, that set it off. It just kept peaking. Like it so kept lit. the bar kept getting raised throughout his performance. And when Lil John came out, I lost my mind. It was wild. <laughs> that was crazy. Set it off, performed, yeah. Ludacris was perfect. Ludacris yeah. was just money, dude. He was just money. So incredible performance by the Usher. It was definitely a celebration of his career. But he also had another celebration, apparently, according to page six. Usher and his girlfriend, Jennifer Goicochea, may have gotten married in Vegas after the show, KJ. 
How about that? Isn't that wild? That is crazy. I didn't even know Usher had a girlfriend this whole time. That's right. They say uh, Usher and his maybe new wife, they got a marriage license in Clark County, Nevada, on February 8th. And uh, they showed up to the after party where it was announced, congratulations to the newlyweds in the building, KJ. Plus, they both arrived in all white. So do you think uh, Usher is a married man? Yeah. I mean, it, it is Vegas. Right, I, I mean, was saying it, it is Vegas, so. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man, uh, congratulations if uh, Usher is married now. So congratulations to Usher. I mean, that's one way to celebrate your big uh, halftime show performance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. What else is crazy? The Beehive, KJ. The Beehive was right, KJ, because Beyonce is gone country. You saw that epic Verizon commercial she dropped? Yes. I told everyone last week on Friday, I said, hey, watch out for Beyonce to pop up in this Verizon commercial. Boom. Of course, I was right. Yay me. (laughs) (laughs) But I didn't know she was going to drop two new songs and announce a new album and have it be country. Beyonce's new album will be out March 29th. It's called Act Two. She released two new songs. They're out right now. Texas Hold'em and 16 Carriages. And yes, they are labeled as country. Okay, KJ? What do you think about this? Are you here for this Beyonce country? Actually, the, the Texas Hold'em didn't sound too bad. Oh, yo. Texas Hold'em is a banger, dude. Yeah, I was like, oh, wait, I'm kind of <laughs> feeling this, Beyonce. <laughs> uh, I, was, I, was, I was waiting for you to show up with a cowboy hat. <laughs> yeah, I, I am considering looking for one now after listening to Texas Hold'em. That's all I kept picturing is me and a cowgirl hat. I was see like, oh, got to get one now. See what I'm saying? So Beyonce is here. The Beehive called it. Beyonce's Gone Country. We don't know if the whole album's going to be country, but these two songs uh, that she dropped are labeled country. So I'm here for it. You know, we're going to have to play this Texas Hold'em. Oh, yeah. yeah, we definitely dropping that one, KJ. Hey, for more episodes, follow my podcast wherever you listen to podcasts at Esco Let's Go. That's one word, E-S-K-O-L-E-T-S-G-O. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the same, Esco Let's go. E-S-K-O-L-E-T-S-G-O. Thanks for listening.